Cooperation with partners and allies requires working through common objectives and common equipment. It will also be critical to accelerate agreements on architectures and standards, share technical expertise, and pursue AI use cases for exercises in war games. At the same time, peer competitors are investing heavily in artificial intelligence. Um, as you're well aware, China seeks to be a world leader in AI with an aim of making the industry worth billions and billions of dollars. According to China's 2019 defense white paper, quote, the form of war is accelerating toward informationalized warfare evolution with indicators intelligenized warfare is emerging, unquote. The Chinese People Liberation Army objective is to use AI algorithms, machine learning, human machine teaming, and autonomous systems collaboratively to paralyze its adversaries. Seek to use the projects to immobilize their adversaries while defending their own system of systems. And Russia is similarly pursuing AI-enabled capabilities, with President Putin notably stating that, quote, whoever becomes the leader in this sphere will become the ruler of the world, unquote. Given the wide proliferation of AI, it's unlikely that some technology breakthrough alone will provide a sustainable advantage. Instead, success depends on combining concepts with technology. To date, much of the focus in fielding AI and autonomous systems have focused on improving current methods of operating. Mosaic warfare is an example of a current U.S. Department of Defense effort to combine cutting-edge technology in AI with new operational concepts to achieve a more enduring military advantage. Mosaic warfare offers a comprehensive model for systems warfare that encompasses requirements as well as acquisition processes the creation of operational concepts, tactics, techniques, and procedures, and force presentations, as well as force allocation actions, in addition to combat operations. This concept combines AI-enabled command and control with more disaggregated manned and autonomous units to enable the military to execute faster and more adaptable operations relative to the opponent. Now, where these